Hello everybody! So I just wanted to give you a tutorial here on how to do Google Draw so you can make this cityscape. Um, Google Draw can be a little bit frustrating, so just be patient with it, but uh, basically it's the same as Illustrator. So first thing you need to do is give yourself a gradient background. So I'm going to walk you through how to open up Google Draw again. Make sure, okay, you want to go to Google's homepage, make sure you're logged in. Then you want to go to your drive. You want to go to new, more, and Google drawings. All right, first thing we need to do is make a square for our background so that we can fill it with a gradient. So you want to go up here to the shape tool, click on it. Goodness, we're slow today. Okay. And you want to select the rectangle and then you click and drag just like you do in Illustrator. And you'll get your square. This is the default color. How you change it is with this fill bucket or fill color. You click on it you want to pick gradient since we're making a gradient. Just pick any one for right now. Um, I'm going to pick light red to there. Let's say you don't like that. That's fine. So you go back to gradient and you hit custom. This is how you change it to whatever you want. So let's say I want my sunset to start with yellow. So I want to click on that box right there. Go up here, change it to yellow. And let's say I want this to be a deeper purple. So I want to click on that box, click here, and let's make it a nice dark purple. Let's say, and if you want to add a third color to it, so your gradient changes in the three different colors for your sunset, you just click add and it'll pop up right there. You can move it around if you want it to start somewhere else. And I'm going to add a bright uh, purpley pink in there into my sunset. And then you just hit OK. There's your gradient for your sunset. Now you click off of it so you deselect it. Now we're going to start drawing our buildings. You could just make shapes, rectangles, and all that, but it's going to get complicated and you'll have too much. So I'm going to show you how to just draw your cityscape. And that's up here where you go to uh, select line. It looks like a bar with two dots on each end. Select that. And we're going to be making a polyline. So you click on that. And you get like a crosshairs. That's kind of like your pen tool. Um, that's how this is going to work. Like the pen tool in Illustrator. Um, now, you can start with either the back the front buildings it doesn't matter just keep in mind your buildings further back are going to be smaller than the ones in the front and we're going to make those straight black all right so to start this you want to click once wherever you're going to start it i'm going to start it off to the edge here so that it shows a nice crop of uh the buildings hold your shift key and it'll give you it'll snap it into a straight line a straight diagonal or a straight up and down. So I'm going to start it here. I'm going to start with the back buildings. Go up, click once. Go over, click again. Down, over. Make them look any way you want. You can give some that um, pointed top like an obelisk. Be creative with them. Make them different. Sometimes that happens, frustrating. Now you have to make sure when you're doing this, you are not double clicking. You're just clicking once because what will happen is it will complete your line and you won't be able to make a finished shape. So just click once. And there, I double click to show you what happens. So then you cannot go back and complete this shape so you have to hit delete and start all over again. Okay, so now I've worked a little bit ahead here on my cityscape. As you can see, I've got 
the uh, buildings going on up there. Now I need to close this shape just like you do in Illustrator. So I clicked around it, around the edge of my gradient background. Then you just go to where you started, and double click. And as you can see, it went to the default color. So now we just need to change it to black. To get an extra line like that, just double click to finish it and hit delete. All right, here's our background. Now I'm gonna start the front of this, which will look something like that. And as you can see, it likes to do this. So you just double click and hit delete. It's really sensitive. All right, so now I'm gonna start my front one and I'm gonna do it in the same way I did the background, but I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger. And again, hold your shift key and give it variation. It's okay if it covers up a bunch of your buildings from the background, that's fine, because this is the foreground. Give your variations for it, make them different, different heights. Um, to do an obelisk, you just pull it up in a diagonal. You can even try a building that goes up like this and instead of, oopsie, that happened. So there I gotta start over. Again, be careful you don't double click. Um, you can even make one that has an angle like this on the top. Try all these different things I'm showing you here. And instead of giving it a straight top there, you can um, make it different. And I'm gonna do one that has a point up through the center here. And here's how you complete it. You just click around until you finish your shape. Make yours look better than mine. I'm trying to get this done. Double click. Now this one, we're gonna give a gradient to it. Okay, now as you can see, I've deselected everything. Let me show you how to select a shape that you made. So you wanna go to this arrow. My cats are going absolutely crazy. Um, and click on your shape. Now you go up here, give it a gradient, just like you did with the sky. And I'm gonna do a darker gray. I don't like that, so I'm gonna go back to custom. And I want this to be even darker. So I'm gonna click on that square and go to black for it and hit okay. Now here's the front of our buildings. All right, now we're gonna start making the window. <clears throat> and this you're gonna do by uh, starting to use the different shapes up here. So that's again, grab your shape tool. <coughs> we'll start with simple rectangles right now, or uh, squares, sorry. So to make squares, you do it the same way you did in Illustrator. You hold down the shift key, and that's how you get a perfect square. Now you can make these any color you want. Um, you can leave it just the default light blue that it is, but it might look nice with maybe a light yellow. Or you can even give it a yellow gradient maybe from the center so it looks like a light's on inside. And then once you get that first one made, all you gotta do is a control C and then a V, a V again, and it'll give you some windows that you can randomly place because at night, all the lights aren't on in the building. So you can place these anywhere you want. 
And again, I went to that arrow, the select tool, to click and drag them where I want. All right, so we got that building. Now for this, you're gonna have to make many windows. I don't wanna see just windows on one building because I want you to try at least three different shapes making these windows. Let's try to do a circle window up here, um, maybe in this obelisk one right here. So let's go back to the shapes and select the, it's called the oval tool. Now to make a perfect circle, it's the same way in Illustrator. Hold down the shift key and there's your perfect circle. Um, and I'm using the arrow key, arrow keys right now to nudge it around instead of dragging it. Um, I'm going to leave this one light blue. So, or well, actually I'm going to see what it looks like first. It's not bad. Um, so there's our circle. If you don't hold the shift key down on that oval, it will give you an ellipse. The next thing I'm going to show you to do, let's try um, just some plain old rectangles. You can do this building back here. I'm going to make smaller rectangles that just go down so I don't have to have a bunch of different shapes. Now to zoom in, it's Control, Alt, and then the plus. And then you just drag it to where you want to see it. So here's our first one. Then you do Control C, Control V. And um, put a couple of them, make them a little bit random so it looks like not all the floors of the building are on. Now I want to show you one more thing that you're going to have to do with the shapes of the windows. Um, I'm going to make an oval one here on this obelisk and we're going to make it look like there's different lights around it like this one right here. So to show you how to do that we need to go back to the oval So just like in Illustrator, you can change the stroke. So that's how I'm going to make it look like it had the different pattern in it. So it's under border. I'm going to give it white. And then over here in the border dash right next to it is how you can change it so it looks like different lights around it. That would suffice, but let's say I want them to be bigger. So all you need to do is change the border weight and it will make it look bigger or smaller, depending on how you want it to look. All right, now for these, let's say I don't like that black border. All you need to do is click on that um, border fill or stroke fill and hit transparent, and it will make them go away, which you're going to need to do for your windows because no windows have a black border like that. Okay, so here we are. I have more windows. Remember, control alt plus sign. That's how you zoom in. And then to zoom out, you do control alt minus. So look, I've got a bunch of different shapes I used for the windows. I even did um, some different colors for them, different borders. So again, that's up there under border weight, border color, um, try all that out, give it different gradients. I even tried making some unusual shapes, um, and that's with the shape tool, shapes. Maybe a shape like that might be nice. Um, then you can give yourself a moon in the background, which is just here in the shapes again and there's an actual moon you can use and then you can give it a gradient too so that's your cityscape give it lots of windows be creative with it um, make sure you put your name on it that's with the text box click drag you can sign it any way you want put the text any way you want um, make it any color you want you can even put it in the bottom left to sign it like a, a real piece of artwork. All right, then you just hit share, make sure you've titled it, 
cityscape 